Good morning. This is WPBN-TV Channel 7, Traverse City, and WTOM-TV Channel 4, Sheboygan, Michigan, beginning another broadcast day. WPBN-TV and WTOM-TV Incorporated are subsidiaries of Bean Communications Corporation. Also operating intercity Michigan relay stations, KZN 30 Morley, KQK 51 Barryton, KQG 72 Chase, KQG 51 Harrietta, KSR 86 Harrietta, KQI 29 Traverse City, KMA 60 Traverse City, KMA 59 Leedsville, KQO 36 Gaylord, and KQK 63 Fingerboard Corners. WPBN-TV and WTOM-TV are affiliates of the National Broadcasting Company. Don, your friend and mine. Fast as a bullet, fast as an arrow, faster than sound, he comes in on his charging horse practice with his pal and dog, Bullet. Yes, he's your pal and mine. And remember, boys and girls, he's on his way here right now, and here he comes, Deputy Don! Everybody say, let her roll! Well, hi, boys and girls. Here it is Saturday morning. It's still a little cool, but the sun's going to come out, and it's going to be a nice day, and you're all going to have a nice Labor Day weekend, and we don't want anybody hurt. So if you go in the boats, you have to wear your what? Life jackets. Life jackets. And when you're Mommy and Daddy's car, what do you buckle up in? Seat belt. Seat belt. Boy, you're a smart group today. We've got the nicest bunch of boys and girls today, and they're from all over. Where are you all from? Traverse City. Gaylord. You didn't come from Gaylord. You did. We've got birthday boys and girls here today. We're going to meet them today. And if they're all good today, they're all going to get a hamburger from where? Boy, this is a smart group. And where do we get our hot dogs from? Very good, Mikowski. And what kind of pop are we all going to drink? New York seltzer. Oh, boy, we're going to have fun today. We've got some prizes, and we're going to talk to a lot of you. I want to meet some of the birthday boys and girls today. Ladies first, so that little girl, you come up here. You're first. You're a birthday girl, so we're going to find out what your name is and where you're from. What's your name? Jenny. Jenny? Once in love with Jenny. <laughs> Jenny, you're beautiful. Did you know that? Look at her. They're going to take a close-up picture of you. Look how pretty you look. Oh, Jenny, you are a movie actress if I ever saw one. Why are you giggling? Now, I want to ask you a question. Who is your favorite cowboy? You. Oh, Jenny, you are my pal. Listen, how old are you? Five. Jenny's five years old. Can you all sing happy birthday to Jenny? 
<laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Whoever sings it the nicest will get a Frisbee. Now let me hear happy birthday to Jenny. Here we go. That's beautiful singing. You come over here, Alexander. You are probably one of the greatest screamers, I mean singers, that I have ever heard in my life. <laughs> look at that nice... Where are you from? Trouble City. Now, you look at the camera out there, and let me see, hear you say, Happy birthday, Jenny. Let me hear you say it real loud. Happy birthday, Jenny! Boy, I'll tell you, Alexander, you're going to get a brand new frisbee from trophy trolley what do you say thank you you're a nice boy now i've got to get the birthday bag out for our girl here and we've got some nice zimco prizes today from mr zimmerman from zimco so jenny it's real quiet in here nobody's talking everybody put your finger up and go Shh. aren't they nice all right jenny close your eyes you cannot peek reach in there jenny there's all kinds of prizes. Jenny's reaching. Look what you got, Jenny. For her doll, a brand new fall raincoat from Young and Lovely. Do you like it? Good for you. Happy birthday to you, honey. And wait just a minute. I'm going to give you something else for your birthday. I've got a six pack of good pop for you. Do you like that? Because it's your birthday. New York Seltzer. Won't that be fun? All right, you go back and sit down, honey. We'll meet some of the other birthday kids. There's another little birthday girl. You come on out here. All right, here she comes. You can walk around the front. You have a birthday, Laura? Oh, isn't that nice? Now, listen, let's meet this birthday girl. Everybody, shh. What's your name? Renee. Where are you from, Renee? Traverse City? Where? Sutton's Bay. Sutton's Bay? Do you know Do you know where Bailey's is in Sutton's Bay, that nice store? I'll bet if you went into Bailey's and you told him I said Bailey's a hundred times, Mr. Bailey would give you a present. Do you think he would? Why don't you ask him? Say the man on television said, ba everybody say Bailey's. <laughs> now, would Mr. Bailey give this little girl a present? Would he give you a present? But I'll give you a present anyway. Can you close your eyes? All right. You reach in the bag. Our Zimco bag. Here she is. She's reaching. She's reaching. Look what you got. A raindrop doll. That's one of the prettiest dolls we ever had up here. Look at it, boys and girls. She's all dressed up in a ring. So what do you say? Thank you. You're welcome. You have a happy birthday, okay? You're a nice girl. You be careful now. You get down. Add a girl. And we're going to get your Burger King hamburger and some pop later on. Now, here's a birthday boy. Come on up here, birthday boy. Where are you from, birthday boy? Gaylord. Where? Gaylord. Shh. Everybody's got to be quiet. Who's talking in the back row? Why, I thought I heard somebody talking. No, they weren't talking. They were just whispering loud. What's your name? Joey. Joey. Everybody say hi, Joey. Hi, Joey. Say happy birthday, Joey. Happy birthday, Joey. Joey, are you going to have ice cream and cake? Uh, I'm going to have cake tonight with my dad. Cake tonight with your dad? And my sister. And your sister? Mm -hmm. Who else would you like to have cake with you? You. What? <laughs> Did you hear that? Do you know what? I have a big bag of prizes for birthday boys. And I also have a surprise birthday. 
present. Now you can have whichever one you want. You want to reach in a bag or a surprise? Uh, reach in the bag. Reach in the bag. All right, let me get the bag. Here we go with reaching in the bag. And boy, we got some good Zimco boys prizes. Reach in, close your eyes. Reach around. Let's see what you get for your birthday. He's feeling around. A magnet. Boy, those are fun. You can pick up screws and nails and help Dad right around the house. That's for you, birthday boy. We have some other surprises for you, too. Okay, Joey? Thank you. You're a nice play boy. Just a minute. I want to give you a Frisbee, too, because you said thank you. I like boys that say thank you. Did you say thank you? Here's a trophy trolley Frisbee for you. Jenny, did you say thank you? Here's a trophy trolley Frisbee for you. And now we got another little birthday boy. What are you doing up here? Did you come see the doggy? Oh, I see. Well, I'll see you up here later. Okay, that other birthday boy, that little boy, come on up here. Hey, everybody, here's a University of Michigan future football player. What's your name? R.J. Boy, R.J., you're a good-looking dude. You know that? I'm not kidding you. Look at that hair on this guy. Can you imagine if I had a young daughter, this would be the guy. R.J. from the University of Michigan. Hail to the victor, mother. We don't sing fi fi da na na oh, That's Michigan State, isn't it? Now, where do you live? Really? I didn't know you lived there. What town is that? Where are you from? Where's his mommy? Where's he from? Copemish? Do you know that's one of my favorite towns, old Copemish? They have the flea market there and everybody. They're real nice people. Do you like birthday presents? You want a surprise gift or do you want to reach in a bag? Reach in a bag. Reach in a bag. All right. I know a little boy who's not sitting down. Nice. Reach in the bag. Close your eyes. Feel around because there's some big stuff in there. Feel around. Oh, boy. You, golly, you had your hand on something neat. He's feeling around. Everybody count to five. One, two, three, four. That's a jump rope for a girl. Reach in there again. Oh, wait, that's the girl's bag. Thank you, Perry. Wait a minute. We'll be back in just a minute. Boys and girls, I have to apologize. I gave R.J. the girl's bag. He almost pulled out a doll. <laughs> and I'm sorry. I'll get the boy's bag in just a minute. But boys and girls, don't leave the set because we're coming right back. And I want to say hello to the two rival boys because I know they're watching today. And there's a nice little boy singing over there. We'll be right back. <laughs> But since it was built, the outdoor physical education facilities have never been completed and are inadequate. Hi, I'm Dave Walker, one of a group of volunteers determined to correct this oversight. And phase one of the project is underway. Funded by a school bond issue and Rotary Charity. But we need your help to finish the job, which will include new football and soccer fields, tennis courts, softball fields, a vital choice path, and a desperately needed running track. When we're done, it'll be like a civic center on Traverse City's west side. But as I say, we need your help. If you'll sponsor building the track, with a tax-deductible donation of $10 per square foot, we'll put your name on a plaque here at the field, recognizing those who helped get the job done. Call today for more information, or send your donation to Junior High Track, P.O. Box 32, Traverse City. A comedy about four crazy ladies in Miami? Oh, it would be a change of pace. They're the Golden Girls. Their men may be gone, but we have each other. It's better with men. They're not getting older. You must be blind. They're getting funnier. He's still interested. 
In what? If you have to ask, it does not matter anymore. The Golden Age of Comedy is back with The Golden Girls. Let's all be there Saturday at 9. Here on WPBN, WTOM, Channel 7 and 4, Traverse City, Sheboygan. Well, we're back again. RJ, I got to get the boys' toy box here. All right, now feel around. Close your eyes. Everybody count to five. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. You should see. Oh, everybody go, oh. Look what you got, a World War II P-40. Everybody go, mm. Come on, let me hear the airplane. Mm. Do you like that? That a beauty? You know who flew that in World War II? Dave Zimmerman. Dave Zimmerman now is an acupuncture doctor. He's going to be on my show. And he's one of the finest, finest doctors. And he does acupuncture. And he used to fly these with his grandpa over in Africa. They were looking for the krauts. You know what the kraut was in the World War II? Mm -hmm. ah. mm -hmm. Hey, you do, you do pretty good. That's for you. I'm going to give you something else a little bit later, okay? Wait, I didn't give you a Frisbee yet. Come over here. Here's the Deputy Don Frisbee. That's for you. Boy, he's a good catcher. All right. Who's talking? I thought I heard somebody whispering. All right, I want that little boy. Come on over here. You. Tell him to come on, man. It's your birthday. At least that's what they say. Can you climb up there, Matt? How old are you, Matt? You're what? Is he two years old? Oh, I was going to say, boy, if you're two, pal, we'll sign you up for football right now. Here, honey, let me help you. There you are. Now, look at that man's taking your picture. Say, smile. Look at him. Smile. Way back there. Smile at Daddy. Oh, wasn't that a nice smile? That's a good smile. You're a good boy. Now, listen, everybody. I want you all to say happy birthday to Matt. Matt, you're three years old. Are we going to have ice cream and cake? Who's all coming to the party? I am. You are. <laughs> Anybody else you want to come to the party? Him? <laughs> Anybody else? Alan. Well, Al. how about any cowboys? <laughs> Well, Perry, you see where I stand over Gaylord, don't you? Is he from Gaylord? Is there anybody real close to you that you want to come? Who? Um. Al. <laughs> okay, well, listen here. I'll give you what. I got a fly swatter here. See if you can kill a fly with that, can you? There's a fly right there. Hit him hard. Hit him. Ow! Oh! Oh! The fly wasn't on my hand. Now here, I'll point to the fly and you hit him real hard. Okay, lift it up. There it is, hit it. Smack, ow! Boy, Matt, you are really a fly swatter. This is really a nice fly swatter, isn't it? Do you like that? All right, now listen. How old are you? You're three years old? Should we give Matt a present? All right, don't say anything. Matt's got to reach in the bag. He's got his eyes closed. Get his eyes. That's it. He's not peeking. He's feeling around. Feel around, Matt. Matt! Look what you got, Matt. A great big helicopter. Oh, are you lucky? And you got soldiers with it and everything. And you know who flew this helicopter? J.C. Zimmerman. They were the greatest pilots of World War II. And their father, Jack, flew the Hindenburg. Did you know that? Yeah. Well, that's for you right there. Now, do you like that? Is that a nice toy? What would you give Deputy Down on the cheek for giving you such a nice toy? It's the same thing I've been getting from my girlfriend for 10 years. Nothing. You wouldn't give old Deputy a kiss in the cheek, would you? You are my pal, by golly. I'm going to make sure you get something else, too. Do you want a Frisbee? All right. 
I'm going to get you a deputy done brand new frisbee. What do you say? You. You're a nice boy, Matt. You be careful, honey, okay? All right. Now, I want to get somebody up here who says, who do you think can, Bullet will kiss first today? Who'd like a kiss from Bullet? Hey, girl, you come out here. Just a minute. Now, just a minute. Let's see what happens. She's your sister? I thought it was your mother. Why, she looks like an awful nice girl. What's your name, honey? Tracy. Dick Tracy. No. Oh, not Dick Tracy. Oh, that's right. He's a detective. Tracy what? Left. All right, shh. Hold your feet. It's got to be quiet. Don't wave your tickets. Everybody, let's see if Bullet will give Tracy a kiss on the cheek. Now, you lean around right here sideways so everybody at home can see if Bullet kisses you. Lean down. Get closer to her. Bullet, Tracy wants a present. Bullet, give Tracy a kiss. You have to get closer, Tracy. Closer, Tracy. Here it comes. Tra oh, Tracy, you almost had it. Get closer, Tracy. B Bullet. Tracy, you got to get close. Now, get a little closer, Tracy. Here she comes. Bullet, give Tracy a kiss. She wants a present, Bullet. 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 There she got one. Give her a hand. Oh. Boy, Tracy, I can tell you, Bullet's pretty sleepy today. All right, Tracy, you reach in our Zimco grab bag and close your eyes because there's something in there that will make you wise. Here she's reaching in quick. What did you get? A pot and pan set. Do you like that? Well, you're a bigger girl. I, I should let you get something for a bigger girl. Would you like a jump rope? There. That's for a bigger girl. Okay? All right, you're a nice girl, honey. And we'll see you a little bit later. Would you like a Deputy Don Frisbee? Would you really? That you. Really? You'd like a Deputy Don Frisbee? There it is. Show them our new Frisbees. There they are. Deputy Don Frisbee. What do you say? You're a good girl. Okay. Laura, come on up here. You've been trying to talk for 20 minutes, and not a word has come out of your mouth. Here comes Laura. Now, Laura, folks, I have to tell you at home, she doesn't talk very loud. Hi, Laura. Isn't that cute? Okay, Laura, can you say hi? That, that was hi. Okay. Now, all right, now, shh, everybody don't laugh. Because now Laura's going to say, Deputy Don. Deputy <laughs> Did you hear her say Deputy? Wasn't she good? Give her a big hand. Oh, you didn't hear it? Okay, just a minute, just a minute. Laura will say Deputy Don real loud. Okay, Laura, put your fingers down. Say Deputy Don. Deputy Don. Say it a little louder. Deputy Don. Give her a big hand. <laughs> Wasn't she a good girl? I think she's a nice... You want to reach for a prize? What are you biting? Let me have a nail. If I, I want to bite your thumb. Come on, Laura. Let me have a bite of the thumb. Laura, are you eating it? Oh, wait, maybe. Wait, I think maybe she might want a hot dog. Do you want a hot dog? Do you? You don't want a hot dog. All right. I'm going to let you reach in the bag. Now, don't look. Close your eyes. Shh. She's reaching in deep. She... What did you get? A baby with a bottle called Sleepyhead. Come here, let me show it to everybody at home. That's from Zimco. Isn't that cute? She got a big... Where are you going? Well, I guess she got the toy. It's all over with. Okay, say goodbye, Laura. Goodbye. Bye, honey. You be a good girl, okay? All right, now you've got to be real quiet. That little boy, you come on up here. We're going to have a picture-taking session this next shot. Now, what's your name? Ross. What? Ross. Ross? Hi, right, Ross. How are you? Hi. Well, you look out there at the camera. I want you to say, hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. I'm Ross. Ross. I'm your newsman. You newsman. No, you can't laugh. You have to be real serious when you do the news. Are you ready? Say, good evening, everybody. Good evening. 
evening, everybody. And now the news. Now the news. Why do you laugh at the news? <laughs> Who is your favorite cowboy? Yeah. Who? You. Oh, ho, ho. lover, Bullet, did you hear that? Do you think Bullet would give you a kiss? Mm -hmm. If she gives you a kiss, I'll give you a prize. Who's not sitting in their seats and being quiet? Do I hear somebody talking? No. Oh, isn't that cute? Brian's picking up the studio now. <laughs> oh, what a tiger. Hey, Brian, what are you doing down there? All right, now just a minute. Boys and girls, listen. Watch closely. Bullet kissed him. Give him a big hand. Oh, boy. Now I got to find you a prank. Here's the... All right, everybody, close your eyes. He's closing his eyes. Reach in. He's pulling something out. Oh, look what he got. A brand new GB Thunderbolt. Everybody. Mm -hmm. Whoever goes mm, the loudest, let me hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you say? You're welcome. I hope you like it. You're a nice boy. No, I'm going to have a picture taking contest. I want everybody to sit in their seats. And if they sit in their seat and the camera stops on them, they might get a prize. Brian's going to play Push the TV. <laughs> come here, Brian. I want you to sit down like a nice boy. Now, come here. Can you, can you sit up there, sit with the kids? Hello, boy. Put your prize down, because we have to have you sit down. All right, you ready, pair? We got time? Okay. We got a minute. Here he goes. It might take longer than a minute. Here he goes. All right. Everybody smile. Oh, look at those pretty smile. Who's not looking at the camera? Timmy turned. <laughs> like the Three Stooges. Whack. Oh, look at those smiles. Oh, there's some good smiles. Oh, look at that. Can we see their faces? Is the light lighting okay, Perry, so you can see them? Okay. Whatever you say. All right, smile, everybody. Now, next row. Here we go. Look at those smiles. There's Goldilocks. Who's that? Ty that's Tarzan. There's little Bo Peep. Oh, look at all these nice faces. Everybody smile now, because we want you all on camera. Oh, you all look so nice today. And you got your nice clothes on. It's nice and cold outside. Look at that little face. There's a nice face. Now we're in the back row for the big boys. Boy, there's a good looking. Oh, look at him. Who is that? There's a nice boy. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that guy. Boy, there's a football player. Okay, now wiggle that camera around. Now the camera has to stop on somebody. Where is that camera going to stop? It's going to stop on somebody. Here it comes. Who is that? That little face right there? Yeah. Tell him to come up here. Look at that nice little boy. You come on up here. He's so little. Boys and girls, we'll be right back. Don't leave. We'll find out who that little boy is and see what he gets for a prize. We'll be right back. I see you have a deep affection for animals. <laughs> Did you say something? I merely said you have a deep affection for animals. Hey, mister, your dog just spoke to me in English. Good old Henry. He's a wonderful dog. But I'm afraid I'll have to give him up. He deserves a better home than I can give. I'll give you $25 for him. He's worth a lot more. Boy, wait till Olive hears him talk. <laughs>
he sure fell for my ventriloquist act. <laughs> Wait till he tries to make that dog talk. By the way, my name is Roger, not him. But you just say he's not my master. Just picked me up off the street. You fell for the oldest gag in the world, ventriloquism. Oh, to the crust, eh? Hold it, pal. I can really talk, you know. So you can. Wait till Olive hears you. But I'm telling you, Olive, this dog can really talk. Roger, say something to Olive in English. What's gotten into you? I got a good mind to... Now stop picking on the poor dog and run along. Now you just sit there, Roger. I'll be right back. Boy, I'm hungry. I wonder if she's got anything exciting in the refrigerator. Wow! A T-bone steak! Roger! You naughty dog, you! Now you march right out into the yard and stay there! Shoot! I'll fix her. No dame can treat me like a dog and get away with it. How do you like that? No sooner Popeye leaves, another guy shows up. Now isn't that just ducky? Just look at those two love birds. Hey, Popeye, you better dash over. Your girl is too timing you. What I just saw just now would take the right off the bush. I wouldn't miss this for anything. and girls, you know we have a great hot dog sponsor, Makowski's IGA store out there at Cedar, Michigan. Now they make hot dogs, they have premier meats, they have kielbasa and all kinds of sausages and all kinds of groceries, and Makowski's has been there for years. Right now I want these boys and girls to take a great big bite of your Makowski sausage. 
Let me hear it. Come on, bite in there. Mmm. Now let me hear you say mmm. Everybody say mmm. Makowski's. Well, here's the little boy the camera stopped on, and what's your name? Anybody know his name? Yeah. What? Alan. Where's Alan from? Gaylord. Gaylord? Alan, did you come over from Gaylord to see me? Huh? Are you my pal? Giddy up, 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 giddy up. Look at him ride a horse. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. You want me to give you a prize? Huh? Let's look in the bag. And you reach in, and don't tell anybody now, you mustn't look. Put your hand way down in there, and you grab a prize. Feel around. Feel around. Look what he got, a spill-proof cup from Burger King with a little cat on there. Meow. Do you like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy. You take that back to your seat. You're a good boy. And we're going to give you a hamburger and some pop a little later, okay? Now, boys and girls, we've had a little boy running around here for about 20 minutes, and he's just a good boy because he's sitting so nice in the stool. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan. Get a close-up of that little face. Boy, now, if that isn't an American boy, I've never seen one. You're, are you a good boy? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Do you like me? Yeah. How much? Good. How many? Good. Ten. He likes me ten. That isn't too bad. I like you a hundred. Yeah. A million. <laughs> hmm. Do you like my dog? Yeah. What's his name? Bullet. That's right, Bullet. That's what he said. Yeah, he's Bullet. He's Bullet. Yeah, that's right. You want to give me a kiss in the cheek? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, Brian, you are such a nice boy. You know, Brian, I want you to reach in. Can you get a prize? Yeah. Do you like prizes? Yeah. If I give you a prize, would you be a good boy? Yeah. Well, you're always a good boy, but you'll sit down real nice? Yeah. How old are you? Ten. Ten? Yeah. Everything with him is ten. How tall are you? Ten. <laughs> Who's your favorite cowboy? Me. Who? Brian. Brian is his favorite cowboy. <laughs> Who's Brian? I've heard about him all day here today. Where is this Brian? Are you Brian? Yeah. He's Brian. Yeah. Oh, he's his favorite cowboy. <laughs> wonder what you look like as a little coolie. <laughs> now listen, I'm going to let you reach in the bag. Yeah. Okay? Will you close your eyes? Yeah. All right. I'll get the bag. Everybody, shh. Everybody be safe. Got to be real quiet. Now listen. Here he goes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Look, look at him close his eyes. What did you get? Let me see. He got combat zone airplanes and tanks and jeeps and jets and soldiers and thank you. Yeah. So long, Brian. Bye. He hasn't got time for deputy. Okay, I want to play a game now. That boy, you come on out here. You, yeah. This boy, right here. You. Out. Out front. You too. Come on. That big boy in the back. Yeah, and the boy next to you. You too. Come on out here. We're going to have a little contest. You boy. Everybody sit in their seats real quick, Brian. Go back. Go back to your seat, honey. Bye. <laughs> All right. Now, out there, boys. Out in front, we got a new game. This is called the hot dog game. Now, I'm going to need some real good close-ups, Terry. Turn around, boys. Face the camera. Come on back here. Come on back here, boys. Back further yet. Come on over here. Right back here. All right. Line up like that. Now, 
What's your name? Tommy. Tommy Tucker? What's your name? Tommy what? Tracy. Hmm? Tracy. Tommy Tracy? Are you Dick Tracy's brother? No. All right, what's your name? Ryan. Ryan what? Ryan Spalding. Where are you from? Uh, Sutton's Bay where they got his Traverse City address. Okay, Sutton's Bay with a Traverse City address. Where are you from? Traverse, Traverse City, City with a Sutton's Bay address. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Traverse City. Okay, where are you from? Um. Um, where's um Michigan at? I don't know where that's at. What's your name? Paul. You're a good looking guy, Paul. What's your last name? Durkin. Paul Durkin. All right, now where do you live? Norton Road. Where? Where at though? What? Oh, Travis. Near Gron. It's near Cherryland Rural Electric. I know them very well every month. All right, what's your name? Chris. Chris what? Stalter. From where? Grand Haven, Michigan. Gra Grand Haven, get down over here. Oh yeah, right down over here. You came all the way from Grand Haven to be on my show? Boy, I want to congratulate you. Shake hands. That a boy. That a boy. You <laughs> shake hands. You're a real good shake. All right, now listen, guys. Here's how we play the Mikowski hot dog game. Now, this is a real terrific game. Now, these are all homemade. They're all pre-cooked, so you don't... Look at the size of those cigars. Whoa. Hold it in your mouth. Don't chew it yet. All right. There's your cigar. There's your cigar. There's your cigar. Oh, look at these guys with their cigars. All right, boys. Let's all sit together like we're out there in a in a mm. poker hall playing cards. Say, deal them, boys. Go ahead. Let me hear you say, deal them, boys. Deal them, boys. Say, deal me an ace. What? Never mind. Not with that cigar in your mouth. All right, what do you got to say? Say, deal them, boys. Deal them, boys. All right, what do you say, Paul? All right, boys, are you ready now? Look at the camera. Take the hot dog out of your mouth. When I say, on your mark, get set, go. I want to see whoever eats a hot dog first is going to get a prize. Now, take your time. I Bullet, quit barking. You're not going to have a hot dog. Should we let Bullet play, too? Yeah. yeah. All right, let me get Bullet. Oh, she loves hot dogs. Just a minute. Here, Bullet, come here. This is a her wife. I don't right. Guess that. I just say right, yeah? You ready, boys? All right, hold a cigar in your mouth like this here. Say, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ah. On your mark. Get set. Chew. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, bullet. Here. Mmm, bullet. Mmm. She really loves these hot dogs. Mmm. I don't hear anybody saying, mmm. Mmm, I hear a big mmm. Let me hear it. Mmm. Mm. Let me hear it. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, boy, Paul. All right, come on, you guys. Start eating. Let's go. I'm going to those hot dogs down there. All right, keep chewing. Who do you want to win, Paul? Who do you want to win? Tell me who you want to win. Chris. Chris? Where's Chris? The Grand Haven guy? Yeah, he's my cousin. He's your cousin? Come on out here. Get over right up here in the front. Your cousin. Get over here. What's your name? Nicholas. Turn around, Nicholas. There you are, Nicholas. Start chewing. Ah, let me see you, Nicholas. How is it, Nicholas? Go, mmm. I want all of you to put your heads around close together where the microphone is, and all of you go, mmm. Well, there's more hot dog in the microphone there is in the mob. Come on. Come on, keep chewing. Look at the camera. Don't look at me. Get some closer. Oh, look at that boy. Oh, look at him. Chew. What's your name again? William. <laughs> okay. Now, tell him what your name is. What's your name? Bob. Oh, okay. Step back a little. What's your name? Tommy. Did you hear that, Terry? I didn't hear what he said. <laughs> Say it again. Tommy. <laughs> okay, what's your name? Tommy. Oh. Oh. And what's your name? Chris Dalzer. Okay, Chris. All right, boys, keep chewing. Hurry up. Come on, who's going to win this? 
<laughs> now remember, after you're through, the first one that whistles gets the prize. Did I hear somebody whistle? Not back there. They have to whistle. <laughs> All right, come on, boys. Who's not back there? Up here. They have to whistle. Oh, wait. Look, turn around. I think he's going to whistle. Let me hear you whistle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> golly, that was terrible. Did he get any on you? All right, let me hear you whistle. <laughs> oh. Okay, Chris, let's hear you whistle. <laughs> Boy, this is terrible. All right, turn around, face the camera. No, I didn't hear anything come out yet. Paul, can you whistle yet? No, you gotta finish your hot dog though first. Wait, hold it. What? Listen. We'll be right back with the winner of our Makowski Chewing Hot Dog and from Grand Haven, Michigan, the champion, Chris. <laughs> Roger, the talking dog. M may I come in? Hey, Olive, it's Roger. He's back. Oh, hello, Roger. It's so good to see you again. I'm sorry I caused you so much trouble. I guess I talk too much. That's right, Roger. A dog should act like a dog, not like a human being. If you will take me back, I'll promise never to talk again, except to you and Popeye. Is that a promise? So help me. Put it there, pal. It's her deal. Hey, Roger, come here. Roger, go to the corner store and get me a bag of tobacco. Here, give this note to the proprietor. Now remember your promise. Act like a dog. Now let's go over the details. At exactly four o'clock, Frenchie will drive up and park in front of this jewelry store with the engine running. Lefty, you and me will go in at five minutes to four and hold up the proprietor. That'll give us exactly five minutes to gather up the loot. Now, what are you looking at, you little mutt? Scram! Popeye! Popeye! Popeye, I just overheard three men. They're planning to rob Tiff's jewelry store at four o'clock. You don't say. I'd better tell the police right away. And that's the whole story, Chief. It's almost four o'clock now. And where did you get all this information? Roger told me. He heard him discussing the plans. And who's Roger? Roger's me talking dog. You're what? Go on, Roger. Tell the Chief what you saw in Hoy. Okay, Roger. Out with it. Let's have the whole story. Yeah, go on, Roger. Tell him. Ow, 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 ow. And stay out. We got no time for comedians around here. Roger, why didn't you tell the chief what you saw? Well, I promised I'd never talk to anyone else again. And when Roger makes a promise, it's a promise. So help me. Well, if the cops won't do nothing, it's up to us to stop them thieves. Come on, Roger. It's almost four o'clock. There we go, Roger. Stop in the name of the law. Got one of them, Mr. Tiff. We'll make them talk. Uh-oh. I better tell Olive what happened. Olive! Olive! Olive, you gotta do something. The cops named Popeye is one of the suspects of the robbery. <gasps> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Come on, Roger. We'll have to tell the police what really happened. <laughs> Wait a minute, Olive. I forgot something. I got it. Let's go. What's in the bag, Roger? It's Popeye's spinach. I got a hunch he's gonna need it. Uh-oh. What is it, Roger? Those are the three men who robbed the jewelry store. Just a minute! You! You! Aren't you ashamed of yourselves robbing a jewelry store and sending an innocent man to jail? Now, you march right down to the police station and tell them exactly what happened. Oh! Uncle. It's Mr. Tiff, proprietor of the store. He robbed his own store to collect the insurance money. 
This is a job for Popeye and his spinach. Hey, Popeye! Popeye! Roger! They've got Olive at the jewelry store, and the head of the gang is the owner of the store. Get me some spinach. I got to get out of here. I got it right here. Here, catch. Thanks, Roger. Yahoo! Never oh, side, Roger. I'm coming through. Stop in the name of the law. There's your whole gang, Chief. Well, if it isn't Slippery Sam and his two cronies. The old insurance racket, eh, Mr. Tip? Hiring these crooks to rob your jewelry store. Congratulations, Popeye. I've been after these birds for months, but I still don't get it. How did you find out about all this? Roger here told me everything. Go ahead, Roger. Tell the chief all about it. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Guys. Hamburger, soft drink, and fries. All, All regular, regular size. size. I'll make a note of that. Wow! <laughs> now at McDonald's, Stomper push along trucks. Stomper! They go where you go, never slowing, just keep on going. Stomper! There are eight Stomper push along trucks in all, one in every McDonald's Happy Meal. Stomper! To a child who has nothing, a loving family can be everything. To thousands of homeless children in Asia and Latin America, Holt International Children's Services is the route to a real family of their own. Holt provides shelter, security, but most important, Holt provides the chance for a permanent family. Holt helps desperate mothers to survive the crisis that drives so many to abandon their children. And for children who can't stay with their birth families, Holt finds new adoptive parents in the child's own culture if possible, or in another country. Real parents who can provide the love and nurturing that every child needs. There are so many children in such desperate need. Maybe you can't take them into your home, but you can take them into your heart. Please call toll-free 1-800-544-3111 and learn more about hope. Every child deserves a home of his own. Join the cause this weekend by joining in the Grand Traverse MDA festivities on South Garfield in Traverse City. Could you bowl a whole day for MDA? Call now and do it this Sunday. And how good a skate are you? Come on, kids, it's time to test your limits. Call now to register. Let the pros at Pavlova pave the way this weekend, all for MDA. And don't miss the big target, too. It's Labor Day, a time for family fun and giving to MDA. Northern Michigan knows how to take care of its own. What did you get? A girl's card game? That's terrible. How much time we got, Perry? I'm not getting signals. Where are we? We're on the fourth segment. We just changed segments here. While we were still on the air? <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Go ahead. Reach in. We're having a little trouble back here. I'm not getting my signal. He's reaching around. Here he comes. What's he got? Here it comes. Oh, a nifty airplane from Zimco. That's a biplane glider. It has two wings. So when you put it together... <laughs> look at the dog. She thinks it's a, something to eat. Congratulations, Chris. You're a good boy. How much time we got? Now, I don't even know where we're at, boys and girls. We're having so much fun. We got six minutes to go for the what segment? Second segment. Oh, that's wonderful. Uh -huh. Well, isn't this fun? Now, who's going to sing a song for Deputy Don? That girl right there, I want you to come out here right now. Now, it's got to be very quiet. Who's going to bring the stool back here for her? Can you reach that stool? You're a nice boy. Thank you, honey. 
You're both very nice. I appreciate that. Good. What a nice boy. Did you ever think... Bullet, what do you want? Another hot dog? Bullet, what, should we give her another hot dog? Yeah. I'll just give her a little piece. Isn't that awful that she likes Mikowski hot dogs so well? That's what you're supposed to do with it. Watch. There it goes. Say, there it goes. There it goes. All right, now what's your name, honey? Jessica. Her name is Jessica. Jessica, where are you from? Lake Leelanau. Jessica is from Lake Leelanau, one of my favorite towns. Do you know where NJ store is? Shh, boys and girls, who's making noises? She knows where NJ store is. NJ Plamondon is a good friend of mine. Now, just for an extra bonus, you go into NJ Plamondon's when you get home and you tell them, Deputy Don said you can have any kind of ice cream bar you want. Is that good? You like that? That's just one little thing. Now, if you sing a good song, I'll give you a prize. Are you ready? Boys and girls, quiet. Listen. Here she goes. Found a peanut, found a peanut, found a peanut just now. Just now I found a peanut, found a peanut just now. Let's give her a big hand. Did you hear that? That was very good. She found a peanut, found a peanut, found a peanut. Mm -hmm. Mikowski hot dog. Mm -hmm. Do you like Mikowski hot dogs? Want to take a bite? She wants the whole thing or none. All right. Just a minute. I've got to give that little one the bullet. Now, let me get you the bag because you sang a nice song. I'm going to let you reach in and get a prize. Now, close your eyes. She's reaching. She's reaching. She's reaching. Look what you got. A dress for a young and lovely doll. Isn't that pretty? There you are. What do you say, honey? Thank you. You're welcome. You're a nice girl. Okay? All right. Now, who else would like to play a spelling game? Now, let me get somebody who hasn't been up here. That boy, have you been up here? That girl way back there. Have you been up here? You, come on up here. You come on up here. That other girl, yeah, you, both of you girls, come on. Here they come. You are very, very pretty. This is a nice bunch of girls today. Uh-oh, wait a minute, what's this? Hi, how are you? He's looking for somebody. Whose little boy is this? Oh, he's your brother? All right, well, you hold him with you, because he's been up here before. Yeah, you take him with you. That's it. All right, now you tell me your name. Alicia. Alicia, what a pretty name. What's your name? Santa Claus. What is it? Santa Claus. Santa Claus? What? Santa Claus. How do you spell that? That's a pretty name, D-A-N-A-C, Danica. Bullet, what are you doing to her? Get close. Let's see what happens if she gives you a kiss. Oh, Bullet, quit kissing the girls like that. Oh, my goodness, Bullet. Now you're not going to kiss that little boy, are you? Oh, bu Bullet, you've kissed her twice. Bullet, quit kissing her. Quit, bu Bullet, I told you, quit kissing the kid. Bullet! Bullet! She won't stop kissing. Bullet! Now, don't you kiss me, because I don't want... Oh, she won't kiss Deputy Dime. Bullet, look at this nice little boy. You haven't given him any kisses down there. Not her. Him. All right, stand aside, honey. We'll see. Danica, what if she kisses him? Danica. Bullet, what are you doing to those girls? Now, don't you kiss me, because I don't want any kisses. No, sir. Now she's going to kiss you. Oh, my goodness sake. All right, now listen, we've got to stop this kissing. That's all there is to it. Now, you said you'd sing a song for me? Why are you up here? I thought you were going to sing. All right, I'll have a spelling contest with both you girls. All right, Danica, you come back over here. You get up in the chair, Danica. We'll let her stand over there with her brother. All right, now, boys and girls, remember, if you want to come on Deputy Don's show, all you have to do is just drop me a letter, write Deputy Don... Box 546, TV 704, Tra Traverse City, Michigan, 49685. And we'll have you up here. And we'll have some fun. 
games and prizes and we got lots of nice things from Zimco management that they give us every week. All right, now it's time for you girls to have a spelling con. Bullet, quit kissing him. Why does she want to kiss you girls? All right, here's our spelling contest. Are you ready? Oh, the man just said 30 seconds. We'll have to come back in just 30 seconds. But we're going to have a spelling contest, and I want to see. He gave me 30 seconds. The last segment. Coming up? This is it. You mean we're going home? Boys and girls, the show is winding up. I'm going to give each a prize anyway. Everybody say goodbye, everybody. You tell them to eat Mikowski hot dogs. Say Burger King. Burger King. New York Seltzer. Say bye-bye, everybody. Bye -bye. That's it. Say it real loud. new sponsor, New York Seltzer. If you're on a diet, if you're worried about the children's teeth with too much sugar, you never have to worry about New York Seltzer. It comes in many flavors, no artificial coloring, no artificial flavors, no salt, just the natural sugar that's in it, and the flavors are delicious. For the best in a good drink, you want to try New York Seltzer, right? Mmm, that's good coffee. New York Seltzer. You'll love it. Try it and ask for it at your store. Will you do it? New York Seltzer. Thank you.